In an earlier video, you saw me miss a really good rainbow in this exact spot. Twice. Well, it happens. I had retribution later that season, and conditions allowed me to sneak in and target the fish. With bright sun and a big dark rainbow to target, it was a matter of sneaking in and making a good cast and hoping for a solid hook set. But once fall set in that year and evening cloud caused heavy, oil slick like glare on the surface of the water, this sighting was extremely difficult. In these conditions, a good tool to have in your skill set is to be able to see smudges in the water, especially if the fish isn't rising. The principles of sighting are the same, but it isn't a game of simply seeing a fish. Instead, it's staring at a light color patch on the bottom to see movement or shapes, to look at the flat water and the wind lines for torpedo shaped smudges that are hopefully moving. It's simply positioning at a prime location with a slow, methodical approach and waiting, not imposing our will on the situation and simply blind casting in hopes of catching something. That can more often spook these shallow holding trout and send them scurrying for depth cover. By waiting and observing shapes, smudges, subtle movement, or subtle rises, and making one well-timed and accurate cast to a honed-in location, our odds skyrocket in shallow water lies. These are perfect locations to run a small elk hair caddis with a small dropper of an undersized tungsten nymph with a slender body or a lightly weighted soft hackle emerger. Do you find value in our free sharing of knowledge and experience and want to support us? Gain access to our extended length ad-free videos as well as our in-depth producer's notes that turn every video into an in-depth fly fishing class. Join our Patreon group today.